Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for May. I hope you guys are all doing well. I am going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody out there, so do take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. You guys can also check your other signs and placements if it's not resonating and see if your messages are there. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and as always, Sagittarius, please do not try to fit yourself into a reading that's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Sagittarius? Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, you are starting out with the Five of Swords reversed. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Okay, nice. So you're showing up here, Sagittarius, as being very strong, very independent. Um, I do see you as being single, but it looks like you have been working on your money and it looks like you've also been working on your spirituality. I feel like you're kind of keeping things to yourself. You're not really, you know, telling people about, you know, what you're doing and what you're going through. Um, I do feel like there's somebody that you're coming out of conflict with, which is nice with the Five of Swords. It looks like it was a rather um, difficult conflict that you were in. And with the Knight of Cups, you're either hoping to give this offer of love to someone or to receive an offer of love. So let's see who's in your energy. Show me who's in Sagittarius energy. Show me who's in Sagittarius energy. All right, so the person in your energy has the Page of Swords reversed, the Two of Cups reversed, and coming out together is the Death card along with the Six of Wands reversed. So this person that's in your energy, I feel like there's a disconnect between the two of you. Um, this person, um, there's an ending that they're experiencing, and it's it's in love, and it's been a particularly difficult ending for this person. They may lack understanding as to why this, this uh, ending came about. It could have been with you. It could have been with someone else. Um, I am seeing that it's made them feel rather unsuccessful in a sense. I do feel that this person, there's a lack of communication here, although there's a desire for communication. Um, and I do feel like this person really doesn't know what's going on with you right now. So let's see the energy between the two of you. All right, so I can tell you now that the two of you view this connection differently. Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Empress in reverse. So you're not putting anything into this and neither is the other person. The other person is keenly feeling that though. They're feeling like this relationship is dwindling here between the two of you or the chance of a relationship. It's dwindling because it's not being, you know, fed. It, there's, um, it's not being nurtured, okay? Now, and that is true because I see that you're not really willing to work on this connection right now. It may be because there's a conflict here between you two that you're waiting to end, um, but I feel like you're missing some details uh, about this connection. Some of you guys um, are just missing the details. So let's see what's affecting this connection. And that's causing a lack of growth here. Queen of Cups, there's a lot of love here. You both have feelings for each other. Interesting. Yeah, let's see your outcome. You could be dealing with a water sign. That would be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Ace of Swords, Reverse. So there's a lack of clarity. Yeah, there's a lack of ability to cut through something and see the truth. Yeah, I'm also seeing Taurus, Libra, Scorpio. It's very strong. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant in the Reverse. Now this is underlying energy and it does speak to an ending. So you must have had an ending with this person. Um, I do feel like your energies are very, di you know, separate. There's, there doesn't seem to be a connect here other than the fact that you both do have feelings for each other and neither of you have clarity about the other person. So let's clarify. Spirit wise, the five of swords in reverse. You may be uh, trying to avoid an argument with this person as well. All right, we have the eight of swords and we have the seven of wands. 
Yeah, you think about this person a lot, actually, but I feel like there's, you also think about the conflict that occurred here. There's something that you're very worried about and that, and I feel like you're kind of standing your ground. You feel very defensive. You feel very defensive and you feel sort of trapped in that position. It's like you've, you're in a, a position and you feel trapped in it, but you're not going to back down from it. Um, and it's causing you not to, it, you're missing some details and it's also causing you not to want to work on the connection. Why is the nine of pentacles here? I feel like you guys are working a lot on your money right now and your, your spiritual advancement. All right, we have the six of wands reversed and we have the knight of swords. Okay, so there could have been an argument like I'm seeing and, and you feeling just as unsuccessful about things as they are. I do feel like you would like to speak to this person. Um, be careful if you do, because if you come in, it's like a warning here, Sagittarius. If you come in very hot and heavy and impulsively and you don't give consideration to your words, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause that conversation to be unsuccessful. Um, let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Because while you have some deep emotions here for this person, what I'm seeing is that you, you're really up in your head about something that happened here. And you may just tell this person, look, I'm better off by myself. I don't think this is going to work out. I don't think this will be successful. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Nine of Cups reversed and the Star. So you're hoping for a love offer from this person, but I feel like you, you haven't gotten it. it. You're not getting what you want here, and that's that love offer. So you may be waiting for this person to come to you. Let's look at their energy. Why is the Page of Swords in reverse? Why is the Page of Swords in reverse? The Death card and the Seven of Cups. So this person feels that there's unfinished business between the two of you, but there is a, a sense of not understanding or knowing what's going on. Um, they don't understand why things went the way they did. I do feel like there's a sense here that, you know, there there's a sense of confusion that they wanna clear up and that confusion has to do with what's going on with you. Um, why this connection isn't growing, why it's not becoming something more. So they want to clear that up. And this is the unfinished business. They feel like things have been hidden from them. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse? I, I feel like if, uh, if this person, even if they have a lot of choices, they choose you. They don't feel like things are over. They're very focused on you. Nine of, nine of Pentacles. You're both single, it looks like. And if you're not, you both um, have a very single, very strong and independent nature. Um, we have the Five of Cups. We have the Six of Swords Reverse. This person feels kind of stuck here. They're stuck in sadness and regrets to do with this ending and to do with you. They're very focused on you. But there's a lot of confusion and there's a feeling that things have been hidden. Um, show me the bottom energy. They're, they haven't moved on and they don't feel like things are over, but they're very sad. They're looking at all the details of everything that's happened between the two of you that caused this ending. And they're feeling like, you know, like it's, they're feeling very unsuccessful. Like there's almost a sense that nothing they can do is going to make things right. All right, uh, Wheel of Fortune reversed, King of Pentacles reversed, and Temperance. Yeah, they're healing from this. They're healing from the past lack of success and the ending here. They're feeling a deep sense of loss. Um, this person is feeling a, a lot of loss, and they're stuck in this energy of this ending, feeling like, what happened? You know, why, why was this not successful? Why is this over? They are trying to heal and balance out their energy, though. And they are being guided, actually. Uh, temperance uh, is also guidance. But keep in mind, as well, that Temperance is the major arcana for Sagittarius. 
So this person feels like they haven't been successful with you. They're feeling a lot of loss with this ending and they, they can't, they're, they're waiting for things to get better. They want things to get better, but they certainly don't feel like things are over. So let's see the energy between the two. Yeah, this person is very sad. Show me the energy between these two. Queen of Wands reversed. The Sun in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so neither of you really know what's going on with the other. It's like you're both kind of processing this ending independently. Each of you on your own. Um, and you, neither of you are happy. You're not happy without each other. Th um, I feel like you're kind of weighing up the, the pros and cons about putting any kind of work into this. So you're just kind of avoiding this connection in its entirety. I do feel like you're pretty defensive and you don't want to back down from your stance here. And so you've made the decision that you're just going to dig in. But you think about this person all the time, Sagittarius. You do. And I do feel like you're unhappy with the way things have gone. You both feel like this sense of this connection failing. Um, this person that's in your energy, they feel like they have no other choice but to not take action and not look into the connection. Not, they don't know what's, what's going on. They're still holding on to the connection, but they're, they're unsure of what's going on with you. Um, I am going to tell you that this person feels like you're responsible for whatever occurred here, and they're very unhappy about that. So they don't feel like they have any other choice but to keep silent and take no action. So let's see why the Queen of Cups is here. Page of Swords reversed. And the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah. So you you don't understand that this person, you, you have feelings for this person, but... See, you're focused on them, and I feel like you're, you've are you got some harsh things that you want to say, but the thing is, is that you don't realize that this person actually really does love you. I feel like you don't think that this person loves you, that you that this person was lying to you about something, that it wasn't true. Neither of you know what's going on with the other. It's like there's a total isolation as you're both processing this ending. Now, the person that's in your energy, I feel like they, they no longer trust their intuition with regard to this relationship or their feelings. They have all these feelings. They're very sad. They haven't moved on. They think about you all the time. And I feel like they don't even trust their, their intuition when it comes to the feelings, uh, you know, for you, Leo. So, I do feel that they, given the opportunity, they would they would tell you that they care deeply for you. And that they've been very sad. But I don't see them taking action to do that either. There's a sense here that they feel wronged. And that they're waiting for you to come towards them. Whereas I feel like you're hoping they come towards you. So let's look at the outcome. Okay, Three of Cups reversed, Page of Wands, Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's still a lack of clarity that's here. I do feel that there's, um, there is not going to be a reconciliation by the end of the week. I do feel that you may reach out to this person. Um, if so, it's going to be something very small. But you're hopeful about it because things have not gone the way that you wanted, which was you hoping that they would reach out to you, that they would offer their emotions and feelings to you. And that has not happened. You didn't get what you were hoping for. So I don't see you reconciling, but I do see you maybe reaching out to this person in some small way. The, the tragic thing is, though, that because of the way things happened in this connection is this person doesn't trust that. They're not going to trust it. There's, there's still very much healing from this loss. 
Um, they feel like things have been very unsuccessful and there's something to do with them feeling that there's deception, that there, somehow there's still deception, that the wheel has not turned. Whatever it was that caused this ending, this person feels is not resolved, it's not over, and it's pretty much blocking a reconciliation here. There's just a total lack of clarity on both sides as to the truth of the situation. Bottom of the deck is judgment, though. So, I do see karma written all over this. Um, I'm also seeing that, you know, there will be a reconciliation. I don't see it coming by the end of the week. It's like you two are, are just, instead of, like, the energies crossing, you know, coming together, moving apart, it's like both of you are these straight lines and you're both moving forward. You're both healing but very independently and not intersecting, not crossing together. So let's see what the uh, oracles have for you. I'm using the angel oracles. I'm pulling for Sagittarius. Pulling for Sagittarius. Okay, you got two cards and nobody else has gotten two cards, but we're gonna read them both. All right, the first one says creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. So definitely if you have like something that you're wanting to pursue creatively, do that Sagittarius. And most Sagittarians I know, my son is a Sagittarius and he's very creative. So, you know, most Sagittarians are very creative. So, you know, that might be just what you need to kind of kickstart you a little bit. So that seems like it's very much geared just towards you. And then we have energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So you might want to look into some energy work as well. Okay, that'll be very healing for you and actually healing for this connection because as each party heals, the chances of, of there being an intersection back into this because we see that that's coming. Right now there's the Four of Swords, there's this, this break, you know, as each party heals. It's rather independent, but I see that coming back together in the future. When, I couldn't tell you. It won't be this week, but it feels almost like, you know, you need to kind of work towards, you know, healing yourself, doing some energy work, and then also creative projects. All right. I hope that this has been helpful, Sagittarius. If you've resonated with this, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until I see you guys in your next reading, namaste.